Hello everyone, today we are going to start Arduino countdown timer circuit. In this circuit, we are going to use one DM1637 display module. This display module is basically for a four seven segment display module. And we are going to use one relay and three push buttons one push button is to start the timer and two push buttons are for minutes and seconds adjustments this timer is basically minute second timer and we set a time for example if we set a five minute and 30 seconds and when we press start button it will start counting down from 5 30 to zero and once the time reached to zero it will turn off the relay and when we press the start button again it will start the relay and will start count downing it will start counting down and once it reaches to zero it will turn off the relay so that's the overall working of this arduino countdown timer and for the wiring diagram, we use pretty much the similar wiring uh, for our previous circuit, which we used for a clock with RTC. In this circuit, we did not use any RTC module. Instead, we use built-in timer one for maintaining the time for this countdown timer. And we attach two, three push buttons and one relay module and one display module, DIO and clock pin to the Arduino Nano. The two push buttons uh, are attached with the A1 and A2. And the relay module is connected with A5. So we... Uh, grounded the one pin of the push button and we attached the other to the analog input pin we use this analog input pin as a digital io and we attach a 110k pull up on all the three buttons the clock pin of the display module tm1637 is attached to a3 pin and the DIO pin of this display module is attached to digital 3 pin. So that's the overall uh, wiring diagram of the circuit. And if we move to the coding part, we use an EW prompt to maintain the last counting in the EW prompt. We can use this double prom to maintain the previous state of this countdown timer and if we don't want to use this we just need to omit these double prom linings from the code that I just did in this programming for the display we all we use the tm163 display library we used this display library in one of our previous video that we used for the real-time clock with this display module and i had explained everything about the display library in that video if you have not checked that video please check on the description link is given below as well as the link of the coding is given below and you can also check the i button to the link if you can't find it in the display uh, the description okay so moving on we created three macros for relay switch start switch second and switch minute buttons a5 is for 
a relay a4 is for switch start and a2 and a1 is for adjusting the seconds and minutes moving down and uh, the clock is uh, attached to a3 and the io is a digital three pin and we created the macros and created an instance of the m1637 display class so that we can use that to update our readings to the seven segment display we also created two variables to hold our settings for minute and seconds for the total seconds we created our uint16 type variable name total seconds and time in it i'll explain these two variables later in the coding when we use these variables similarly we use one variable for start flag this flag will indicate that the timer is currently running and this flag could be used in a double prompt state when power is cut down and we reload the power and we need to check if the timer was running or not when the power goes off so that will this variable will come handy at that state as well if we move on we created one macro which will convert the very tables of set minute and set seconds into four digit integer we need this uh, so that we could display the value as an integer on the tm1637 display module moving down we have created few functions to help us in the things that we are going to do some calculations on on time I'll explain these two functions later. First of all, let's go down in the setup on function. In the setup, first of all, I loaded the settings from the WPROM and I comment out this code so that if you don't need the WPROM functionality, you can just comment it like this and if you need the double prom functionality you can just simply uncomment these code lines and we read the variable from double prom segment and set second variables from address 2 and 3 and we check if the minute is greater than 59 or minute is less than 0 these two are unvalid values for the time so we just simply Forcefully do both this uh, set minute and set second variables to zero and similarly we check the state for seconds variable and we do the same coming down we simply create our output for the relay and input for all three switches we adjust the pin mods and we take simply 400 millisecond delay and we forcefully uh, switch off the relay by setting high to that pin and after that we adjust the brightness of the display to light up it and show our default settings of the time on the display and if we are not using any EEPROM we simply will show 0, 0, 0, 0 on the display module here these are the lines for setting up the timer one for in getting an interrupt every second S because we know that the arduino runs on 16 megahertz external clock we adjusted all the parameter parameters accordingly we set the tccra to zero tccr 
one B to zero and O C R one A to zero X F four to four. Uh, actually, this number is uh, responsible for maintaining the one second entropy. So the TCC R one B register will uh, setting the two bits to one and then TIMSK1 to uh, OCIE1A bit to 1. So after doing that, we will simply enable the global interrupt. We will explain all the timer functionality once we will create an next video on the timer 1 of the Arduino. Uh, you can uh, actually check that or you can or refer to the data sheet of this uh, 80 mega 328p microcontroller. M moving down, we'll come in the loop function. In the loop, first of all, we check if the start flag is greater than zero, it means the timer is already running. Then we will call a function seconds to time integer this will simply um, get the seconds and convert it to an integer to display on the seven segment module and uh, the minute in this function we will create it to local variables minute and seconds and uh, in the minute lock func uh, variable, we will simply divide uh, the total seconds with the zero, and this will give us the minutes of the time. And if we model us with 16, we will get the remaining seconds. Next, we will create uh, the integer variable to display on the seven segment module, and we'll combine this with uh, multiplying the minutes with 100 and adding the seconds to this um, uh, variable and we will simply show that number on a display with the uh, colon enable and uh, display four digits and uh, this will simply uh, take the seconds variable convert it to minute seconds and combine it to a one integer and display on a seven segment module coming down in the loop very loop fun uh, we will simply check if our start button is pressed and if the start button is pressed we will uh, restart the timer every time we'll simply uh, create a start flag one and calculate total seconds because the time we have in minutes and seconds will simply get seconds and after that we will turn on the relay and to indicate the timer is start if we go up in the calculate total seconds function this function is simply will multiply the set minutes with 60 so that the minutes will be converted into seconds and we will add any seconds we have in a set seconds variable and we will put this number in total seconds variable and when we need to display this total seconds back to the minute second format time we will use seconds to time int function the remaining two if statements are simply for adjusting the settings minute and settings seconds we will check if the minute button is pressed then we will make total seconds to zero and we will turn off the relay which means if we press set minute button or set seconds button it will if the timer is running it will stop the timer and turn off the relay forcefully so you can use these two buttons to stop the timer as well 
and if we are in our setting minute button we will simply increment and check if it is greater than 59 minute it will make it zero so you cannot adjust the minutes above 59 and we will display this on seven segment and we will debounce a little by taking 100 milliseconds delay and check if the button is still pressed and we will do the same for the set uh, seconds button and uh, we will make the total seconds zero and we will write a uh, high on our digital write pen and we will increment the set seconds and if the set seconds are greater than 59 we will make it zero and we will uh, show it on the display and we will debounce these two lines which are, are comment out it, it is used to save the settings in eprom double eprom and we are simply using a write function to save the settings on a double eprom and one more thing we can do here is to make the start flag zero and uh, although we didn't use that in this settings we can omit that as well uh, but we can also make it zero here um, because in the isr this is interrupt service routine and whenever uh, at every seconds the timer one will call this routine and uh, this is timer one or compare a vector and uh, if the start flag is greater than zero it will keep coming in here and uh, it will check if the total seconds is greater than zero it will decrement the total seconds variable and now you see if we just simply make the total seconds zero it will come here and see that total seconds are now not greater than zero then it will come in the else statement and uh, it will make the start flag zero so if we did not made the start flag zero in down if statements it will automatically be zero if the total seconds are zero and it will turn off the relay as well so this will also act when your time is finished or completed it will turn off the relay in the next seconds so that will be the whole functionality of this countdown timer so now let's move and see this in action here i will adjust the 12 seconds time and one it will start counting down and when it will reach to the zero it will turn off the relay like this i can readjust the time by just simply pressing the start button and it will do the same thing that I mentioned before and we can simply pre keep pressing the start button again and again and it will show uh, the time of the last settings and it will start on the relay and once the time is finished it will turn off the relay. 